I was there to push people beyond what's expected of them. I believe that is an absolute necessity. Otherwise, we're depriving the world the next Charlie Parker. But is there a line? You know, maybe you go too far and you discourage the next Charlie Parker from ever becoming Charlie Parker? No, man, no. Because the next Charlie Parker would never be discouraged. How one uses one's attention moment to moment largely determines what kind of person one becomes. Our minds and lives are largely shaped by how we use them. We have a decision that we can make in terms of the input that we're going to put in. But you can't expect to be great if you have an average week, if you have average input, if you have an average weekend. You're putting in 40 hours during the week and you expect to be great? You have this sense of entitlement inside you? No, your input needs to be great. Your input needs to excel. Your input needs to be phenomenal, outstanding compared to what everybody else's is. That means the time that you put in, the effort that you put in, all of that sweat equity. What are you investing? What are you doing different? You need to stop being so afraid of being uncomfortable. When you get the little voices that come on, these self-doubts that say, I don't know if I could do it. Your brain is a survival mechanism. So it's always going to pick the easier alternative. When something is challenging, when there's something hard, it's going to always pick the easier choice. Well, we don't have to do it. Because it's not part of your survival. But being great is not about surviving. It's about thriving. Fight and fight and fight and fight. If you want to be great, change your input. Something's got to be different in terms of the time you put in and the effort you put in. That needs to be great for you to be great. The only thing keeping you from getting what you want is the story you keep telling yourself about why you don't have it. And if you don't have what you want, stop telling yourself the story because you don't have the money, you don't have the time, that's bullshit. It's because you haven't committed yourself where you would burn your boats. If you want to take the fucking island, burn your fucking boats. No more excuses, just adjustments. And remember, people, when they're going to either die or succeed, tend to succeed. You're not average. Why you being average? You're not average. Why you being good when you're not good? You great. When you gonna step up to the plate? Because there's some things in life you're not going to get. They're not coming to you. You gotta go take it. There's some stuff if you gonna get it, you gotta will to get it. You gotta get your weight up. Get your weight up. Execution is worship. So from this day forward, we will execute. I will execute. I will execute. Somehow we've come to believe that greatness is a gift, reserved for a chosen few. You can forget that. Greatness is not some rare DNA strand. We're all capable of it. All of us. All right, so what's going on, everybody? Um, this is just me kind of giving you an update, a rant. That's pretty much the end of the video, though, so if you don't want to hear anything I have to say, thanks for watching. I don't know what you just watched, because I don't even really know what I record. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the main thing that I'm trying to talk to you about right now is just basically where I'm at in life. Um, currently, I'm without any supplement sponsorship. I have clothing sponsorship, kind of, with Vanquish even though communication's been rough. I still work with Marcos and I work with Fuel Meals. So I appreciate any support or any code usages and things like that. But the main thing that I was really just trying to say was that 
I talked about going into a six month prep and all these things. And unfortunately, a lot of things just kind of got into my mental space um, right around the time I was trying to get everything kicking off and going. Uh, I don't know if you remember what you saw me post about it on my story and stuff. And just kind of got to a point where I started thinking about so much stuff that was going on in my life and just my child and debt that I have, things that I want to do, where do I want to go, what do I want the next year to look like, that I just kind of overwhelmed myself emotionally. And I just took basically like three weeks of solitude where I just have been pretty much in my apartment. I've been playing video games, chilling by myself for the main part of it, and just kind of been working through these emotions alone. I don't recommend that you work through your emotions alone. I recommend that you always reach out to friends, family, people that you trust or care about. Um, even if it's just a random stranger that you share what you're going through with, it really is helpful and it can help you feel a lot better um, through the things that you're going through, whether it changes what is actually going on or not. Like nothing's changed in my life. Things are still the same way they were. I'm just trying my best to keep my mindset correct because I know that this is temporary and I know that if I don't do what I need to do every single day, despite of how I feel, that I'm never going to get to that place where this is going to be in the past. You know, it's always going to be my present if I don't work towards that future right now. So, um, I just wanted to share that with y'all that I don't really know, you know, what these next couple of months are going to look like. I have a really cool opportunity coming up, um, in May. Um, that I can't be super jacked for, but I'm still gonna work out and train anyways. Um, but that's a really cool opportunity, so I'm kind of excited about it and I think it'll be really fun. Overall, I'm trying to put myself in the best mental state to move forward. Um, I think I've decided to potentially start running a cycle. I think I said I was gonna try and do one more show, Natty, but I think that I'm just getting to the point where I'm starting to understand that I have a uniqueness um, at my age, at my look and my youth that I need to just take advantage of. And my body will react well to the usage of gear. I know it will. And it could I could be a top competitor in a very short amount of time if I if I took things extremely serious. And I've always been one of those people that haven't wanted to do steroids because I'm like, I see those people do steroids and I'm like, yo, bro, like. You don't even train hard, you don't diet, you don't really care, you just like take steroids, just take them. And I always hated that, like genuinely think you're like just worthless for doing things that way. Um, so that's why I have never done them. But my coach said something to me, Ray, and he was just like, man, like you, I know you. And he's like, I know that when you start something like that, you're gonna feel the impact. And when you feel the impact, you're never gonna wanna not do what you need to do to be successful. And I got that and I was like, you're right. Like I've always said that the moment I start gear, like I don't care if I have no food in my system, I'm gonna go hard. I don't like, but I know that I'm gonna do all those things. So this is just me being like super transparent um, and just honest. I think that it's, it's hard too, because just personally, I feel like in this world right now that everything sucks. Like we're in a recession, things just are not enjoyable right now. I don't know about y'all, but like, I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. And I try and act like I'm happy and I try and be like super positive, but I also don't want to be fake because I hate being fake. Um, so yeah, like that's what I told Ray. Like Ray was like, what's going on, man? I'm just like, dude, I'm just not happy, bro. I, I currently hate the way that I'm living my life and I really want to be closer to my daughter. I want to be more involved in her life. I want to love her and raise her and all of that stuff. And he's just like, man, like all of those feelings that you're going through and all those thoughts that you're going through, they're, they're fair but you gotta still be doing every single thing that you know is gonna lead you to a better outcome while you have those thoughts. And that's just the truth. Like when you feel bad, you still gotta do what you know you need to do because otherwise things are just gonna feel worse. And that's kind of where I put myself in the past three weeks is I was just making myself feel worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And it just started building up and it's just not good. You know, it's not good to live like that. It's not healthy to live like that. And I inspire a lot of people and, and, and I know why I inspire people because I fucking, I don't want to give up on my life. I never think about giving up. Like even despite all of this, I've never thought about quitting. I just hate it. And I feel like I hate it. So, you know, don't be afraid to be frustrated with things and don't be afraid to get mad. Don't be afraid to be sad. Just don't let them stop you. I've let them stop me. I let them take three weeks of my life and waste them 
Um, I got skinnier. I weigh like 192 pounds right now. My legs are freaking tiny. You know, everything, when I look in the mirror, I hate it, you know, but that's what happens. Like I made things worse every single day. So why would I get better? You know, it's just, you have to look at what you're doing every single day so you can understand why you are who you are. Who you are right now is a result of every single thing that you've done in the past, you know? So it's like, I'm skinny as fuck because I didn't eat but one meal a day for the past three weeks. Yes, did I know in my mind that eating one meal a day would make me skinny as fuck? Yes, did I still do it? Yes, and and in that moment, I, sh I need to have the discipline and the mental fortitude to be like, no, like I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna do what I need to do. I'm gonna make sure that I'm successful. So I just wanna update all of you. I love y'all so much. I appreciate everyone that supports me and continues to help, you know, support me through codes through whatever avenue you're supporting me through, it means a lot. Like I'm gonna definitely try and do YouTubes more. I don't really know how I'm gonna do them. I don't really have good editing software, but I'm done making excuses. You know, even if it's shit and you think you, all your comments are like, bro, the audio is awful, bro, the editing's awful, bro, you need to do this, bro, you need to learn. Like, I don't give a fuck anymore. Like, I'm gonna try my best to just push out a video randomly uh, once a week, and whether it's like this one where it makes no sense or it has a value. I don't know, but I just want to be consistent. I know that the consistency of doing things and everything will make you more successful. And that's all I'm trying to do. So I love y'all. Truly love y'all. And y'all mean the world to me. I hope y'all have a great day. I'll catch you later.